Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about lipid lowering drugs. Now these drugs are easy to understand but they are also easy to forget and they are extremely high yield for USML step 1. So let's try to understand it today. Let's suppose this is our GI tract and lipid is absorbed in small intestine. So let's say cholesterol is being absorbed here. Okay, and bile, absor bile acid will be absorbed in the distal part of the small intestine. Now the easiest way to decrease the amount of cholesterol in the blood is to simply stop the absorption of cholesterol right here. Now the drug that does this is called azathioprine. It's called azathioprine. Now this is the easiest mechanism to lower the cholesterol. There are no me difficult mechanism involved, no enzymes, nothing. It's so easy to understand. That's why the name of the drug is Easy Timibe. I try to understand it like this. I try to remember it like this. Easy Timibe. It means that it is, it is having the easiest mechanism, like very simple mechanism to understand. So that's first mechanism by which we can lower the level of cholesterol in the blood. Another mechanism is by simply stopping the reabsorption of bile acid. If you stop the reabsorption of bile acid, that means bile acid will not be able to go from small intestine into the liver. And liver will try to produce more bile, in, bile acid with the help of cholesterol. So liver will start using the cholesterol. Now this, this drug azetimibe is stopping the absorption of cholesterol. Uh, and the drug that de uh, decreases the reabsorption of bile acid, it is called bile acid resins. Sorry, bile acid resins. Now, when when both of these drugs works, they they causes depletion of cholesterol. And when liver needs more cholesterol, it will try to take it from the blood in the form of LDL. And this is the reason why azetimibe and bile acid resins, they decrease the level of LDL. So th this was the simple mechanism of azetimibe and uh, bile acid resins. Now let's try to understand how, which, I mean, which protein the azetimibe blocks. So the n name of the protein that azetimibe, azetimibe blocks is called Neyman Pick C1 like one protein now these are not this is not a high yield thing but it's good to know that uh, azetimide blocks neman pick c1 like pro c1 like one protein now how the bile acid, uh, bile acid resins work Let, let's try to understand that so bile acid resins they are positively charged sorry so bile acid resins they are positively charged while bile acids they are negatively charged so bile acid resins they are not absorbed in the small intestine but they combine with the bile acid resins I mean bile acid resins combined with bile acid in the small intestine and they form a complex which is not which cannot be absorbed in the small intestine so it is unabsorbable and it is excreted in the feces so this is how bile acid resins work also it is good to know that after statins azetamibe are the second most commonly prescribed drug because it is it is showing good results in the recent studies published so that was about the uh, bile azetamibe and bile acid resins now let's try to understand the side effects of both the drugs <laughs> the side effects are every medical student's favorite side effect those are nausea vomiting and diarrhea these are the common side effect other than that bile acid resins will cause a decrease in the fat soluble vitamins yeah that's the main mechanism uh, it decreases the fat soluble vitamin and uh, yeah it all uh, this azetamibe also causes diarrhea so this is it now one thing that you need to remember out of all this is that bile acid resins increases the triglyceride level and it is the only uh, lipid lowering drug that we, that can cause increase in triglyceride levels so I try to remember it like this bile acid resins 
raises the triglyceride this is how I try to remember it raisins raises triglyceride now let's try to understand briefly how that works so whenever there is decrease in bile acid reabsorption three enzymes are affected and those enzymes are phosphatic acid phosphatase cholesterol 7 alpha hydroxylase and HMG coenzyme A reductase out of all these phosphatic acid phosphatase is responsible for triglyceride synthesis and this is the reason the activation of this enzyme that results in increase in triglyceride under the effect of bile acid resins so yeah that was all about azetamide and bile acid resins now let's try to compare two more drugs now before comparing the two more drugs let's let's try to understand one simple principle but it's very very helpful to understand the mechanism of action of those two drugs let's say this is blood vessel this is adipose tissue now there is triglyceride in the blood vessel there is triglyceride in the adipose tissue now if the triglyceride wants to move from blood vessel into the adipose tissue the enzyme that will help this is called lipoprotein lipase right so lipoprotein lipase it breaks down the triglyceride into free fatty acid and glycerol and then it moves to adipose tissue the opposite is true for another enzyme if the triglyceride wants to move from adipose tissue into the blood vessels then it is done by an hormone which is called oh sorry by the enzymes which enzyme which is called hormone sensitive lipase so let's try to think by common sense if we decrease if we want to decrease triglyceride levels in the blood what should we do either we should increase the activity of lipoprotein lipase or we should decrease the activity of hormone sensitive lipase and that's what fibrates and niacin does fibrates basically increases the activity of lipoprotein lipase so more triglyceride is tri being transferred from blood vessel to adipose tissue and the triglyceride levels in the blood vessel will decrease exactly opposite is true for niacin niacin will inhibit the hormone sensitive lipase and th this will cause reduction in triglyceride in the blood vessel so this was the simple mechanism of fibrates and niacin then now let's try to understand that in a bit detail <laughs> here i've written the mechanism of action of fibrates fibrates they bind with ppar alpha which are basically transcription factor i don't want to go into the detail of this thing because it is not that much high but definitely you need to know the mechanism how it works so fibrate binds PPAR, PPAR alpha which causes activation of PPAR alpha now this combination of fibrate and PPAR alpha will affect the peroxisome proliferator response element and this peroxisome proliferator response element which will cause increased expression of lipoprotein lipase and that's how it will decrease the triglyceride levels also uh, this thing increases the production of apolipoprotein A1 and apolipoprotein A1 is a major component of HDL so this will cause increase in HDL production now let's go to the fibrates side effect the fi first side effect is myopathy and it is extremely high yield also myopathy is more severe when it is come when the statins are uh, sorry fibrates are combined with statins so you definitely do need to remember now i tried to look about uh, look up on the internet i tried to search various articles about the uh, side effects of fibrates how does it cause myopathy but there is no clear and concise explanation anywhere so if i will find the explanation about myopathy i'll definitely add it in the next video so yeah the first first side effect is myopathy now the second side effect is it forms cholesterol gallstones there are two main responsible uh, two main uh, mechanisms which are responsible for forming cholesterol gallstone the first one is there is inhibition in 7 alpha hydroxylase now what's the purpose of 7 alpha hydroxylase 7 alpha hydroxylase sorry yeah. so 7 alpha hydroxylase is the first enzyme sorry, is the first enzyme involved in bile acid synthesis and it is also the rate limiting enzyme it forms 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol
and then later on it will form bile acid so when this enzyme is blocked by fibrates there will be build up of cholesterol and there will be reduction in bile acid and as we know whenever there is reduction in bile acid the chances of uh, forming cholesterol gallstone increases that's one mechanism the other mechanism is fibrate simply increases the biliary cholesterol secretion and that causes formation of biliary gallstones so these are the two main side effects that uh, we need to remember about the fibrates now let's come to niacin let's discuss the mechanism of action of niacin the first thing is it inhibits the hormone sensitive lipase which will decrease the triglyceride levels now when the triglyceride levels will decrease it will cause reduction is in VLDL and that will affect the levels of LDL this is the simple mechanism of action of niacin now let's try to understand the side effects of niacin which are very very oftenly asked and it is very high so the first side effect is flushing flushing and pruritus now initially it was believed that the flushing and pruritus occurs due to bradykinin and histamine but this is wrong it occurs due to prostaglandin especially prostaglandin D2 and E2 so uh, that's how uh, niacin will cause flushing now to reduce the flushing we can do certain things first thing is we can give aspirin to the patient that causes reduction in flushing also we can titrate the dose slowly that will help in redu reducing the flushing and the last thing that we can do is we can use sustained release sustained release sorry there is no enough space yeah so these are the three things that we can do to reduce the flushing that is associated with niacin other side effects include hyperglycemia and hyperuricemia the mechanism of hyperglycemia is again not exactly understood there are many hypotheses which you can find on PubMed articles but the exact mechanism is not very clearly mentioned anywhere and in hyperuricemia it simply stops the secretion of or it decreases the secretion of uric acid in the urine and this leads to increase in uric acid and sometimes it leads to uh, gout gout attacks so this was all about the mechanism of action of fibrates and niacin in next video we will try to discuss other lipid lowering drugs